2012, I was taking microbiology. I went to the doctors because I had severe migraines and I figured, they said, oh, let's do an MRI. We, they were checking me for MS because I was right around the age group where MS can start. I had a lot of like numbness and tingling. Um, so they did the MRI. I got a phone call when I was shopping in Target and they told me I had to get an appointment with a surgeon right away that I had a huge cyst. My whole life kind of was stopped. I went to church, prayed with some friends, and I went to the doctors, went to the surgeon, and they couldn't explain it, but they redid the MRI and the cyst was gone. Uh, and then I was still battling the eating disorder at that point. It was pretty, pretty challenging. First time mom, newlywed, and uh, my daughter was born with a rare chromosome abnormality. And at that moment, um, I was a stay-at-home mom and was fighting for my daughter's life. And she was with us for nine and a half years. When she was at home, I found myself if you want to say playing the role as a nurse, even though I was just a mom. I wanted to be in the care and field of these children. So I started coming back to school. I needed to take several classes that were non-credited classes just to catch me up. After that, I started my prerequisites. Well, I first started out at CCR because it was all I could afford. In high school, it wasn't so great for me. I battled an eating disorder, which I mentioned. I started here, and it kind of gave me a chance to figure out what I wanted to do. That's when I decided um, to do nutrition, and that way I could help other girls battle the eating disorder that I did. Professors, some of them are great mentors. They wrote me recommendation letters, which have helped me win numerous scholarships. And they really helped me figure out what I wanted to do. I had Cindy Hansen, who was you know, a huge advocate. She helped me to get accepted into St. Joe's her alongside uh, David Vito. He was very helpful in helping me to meet the requirements needed, even though I had to take a lot of absences. Susan Apshager and Lori Sherman, I was able to you know, work close with them with Phi Theta Kappa, and they were a big support towards me winning the New Century Scholar Award. I'm a slower learner, but when I get it, I get it. So I've had some really great help through the student services to give me that extra one-on-one. -on -one. I needed that extra help. Professor Sankowitz, she is a professional through and through, and she was able to guide me through the process. But overall, no matter where you turn, there's always support and everyone's willing to help. CCRI has given me a new life, and I'm still feeling the joy of graduating. It was last week. I would definitely say CCRI changed my life, and I got to get involved and, and you know, win scholarships, it's, it's like night and day. I never got to do it in high school, so it gave me kind of like a second chance and a kind of a new hope. I received the Edward and Lucy D. Madeira Scholarship, and it meant a lot to me. It's for um, transferring to Johnson Wales, which I will be attending this September, and it helped me to pay, first they needed a $300 reservation fee, so it allowed me to lock myself in. And it also allowed me to make my down payment, and without it, I don't think, I don't know for sure like how I'd be able to, because my parents couldn't help me with school, so I, applied to a lot of scholarships. When I received the email from Robin McDuff that I was awarded this scholarship, I was elated. It was a gift that uh, I really needed. It helped ease the burden financially, so I just remained focused on the program. So I'm just very grateful that it, that it came to me. If I had the chance to meet the donors and speak with them, I would just thank them for, you know, supporting me and giving me the confidence that, you know, the person they see today is, a, I attest it to, you know, their donations and their support. I'm going to do a lot. I know I'm going to. And all the donors, people get to be a part of it. It's not just me. It's a whole bunch of people coming together. And it really helped me to really dream this big dream that, to me, otherwise wouldn't be attainable without their support.